Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi Chazan, thank you for joining us. Um, perhaps you could share when, when the first time you got to know Rabbi Yo and what your impressions were of him. So it's not like I got to know Rabbi Yo. I was a Bachman 770 and he was a Mashbian 770. I didn't, I didn't have a personal relationship, so, so to speak, so strong. He, I only knew that he knew where I was in the middle of the year because I ate by his table, Shabbos. And he had asked to sing a certain nigan, and I started it. So the next week he asked us, let's do a hunger fang in this nigan. So he started this week again. So I knew he realized who I was. But I, until then, I didn't know even, even if he knew who I was. But I was always around in, in, in the Shurim and in, in, his, in his house eating Friday night. But it, 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 he was a figurehead in, 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 in the Babbage. So you grew up with him. I'm talking about before Gimel Tamas, the last few years. So, when I, went to, when I went to the Rebbe, so my father showed me who he was in 770, pointed him out to me, or, or uh, there was a bacher in Manchester Yeshiva that was a, a uh, artist, and he drew pictures. So he, most of his pictures, obviously, with the Rebbe and all different, but he had a few pictures of Sidney Jews. He drew a mental photo of us, and he drew a Yale. Yeah. It was like, a, it was just a, a feature of, of Lubavitch, I guess, uh, for all of our youth. So in Yeshiva, when you got to know, so you, all the mashpim quoted him, and, and even even and try to give it to us. And when we're going to go to New York, we should we should go to Shurim and make sure to get to know him. And I remember once in, in Teresemes, Rabbi Mabarak Pevsner told us he was like Maflik Bishwach. In, in, in some context, I don't remember the context. I just remember one line he said. He said the Rebbe was Machanach for ten years how to write the, how to listen to the Fabrengans, how to write the Mamorim. So if, if Rabiel writes in in it has a gather a certain gather of Muga. <laughs> That's like an extreme statement, but it, it means to say that he, he is so tra so trained in the, in the Rebbe's way of thinking and, and, and the Rebbe's tailor. So when he writes it, it's with a certain samchut that no one else has, certain uh, authority. And then when, obviously when I came to Alitaira, so we used to go to Shur the whole time and, and, and try to bring as much as possible. And, and then once you started listening to him, so then there's a whole world of tapes, which is open to everyone. Everyone could listen to the tapes. So when I was on Shlicha, so I listened to the tapes on my base and listened to some, some, some above. That was uh, his involvement in a, in a regular book in the 1770s. So we had to share every morning. It was I learned by him the year before. Tavshin Samachvav. So he want, had this plan to learn Samachvav, the Hemshech, to finish the whole Hemshech. So he actually taught more often, and and, and Amaram, which he didn't usually teach because he was trying to go through Samachvav in 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 honor of Tavshin Samachvav, the hundred year hundred years. I guess that that would be. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. what, what was the what did you see by the view when you when you when you sat by him you learned by him what, what was his main what, what did he speak about what was he what was his impact i mean there's two parts to him i guess you would say there's the 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 shurim the the, the chassidus part which he, he opened our eyes in, in the First of all, the Pashtun Akuda, that you're supposed to understand what you're learning. When you read something, it's not, it's not just... Uh, I've learned with Chassidus with people afterwards, after learning where and I've seen how they learn, because it's Tayro, or Sama Marim, or Rebbe Shpaseid, or any any Marim, even of the Rebbe. There's a certain Kabbalah sale they have to the Nyanim, and they just Chazer, and, and, and they say, and that's how people learn Chassidus. So there are many, many others understood better. And uh, when you learn Rebbe you saw that, you, that there, he gave you a Te'im, a taste, what it means to understand, and then you used to, you have to work yourself to, to broaden that and, and, and use it to understand everything you learn. But he gave, definitely gave you glasses of um, that. Now you see through those glasses everything you, you, you see, you see through those glasses. So if you explain to someone what is Ruchnius, so once you know what Ruchnius, know what Ruchnius is, once you understand, when you say the word Ruchnius, it's not just a word, it means something. So then you're always talking about Ruchnius. The, the, all the elements and all the, everything you learn about Nuxidus is talking about Ruchnius. So if, if, you, if someone will explain to you and give you a feeling for Ruchnius, then, then it will change your whole way you approach Nuxidus. And, and, and the same thing in, 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 in all the terms that I use in every mimer, Tzimtzum. If you know what Tzimtzum means, then, then it changes every time you learn a mimer and it, talks, it uses the word Tzimtzum. Kiyotz was in many, 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 um, many areas, then you have to work on it yourself. But it's, it's every, every time you learn to a shear, it wasn't just a shear on that particular issue. It was the new glasses that you saw the rest of Chassidus through those glasses. That was Benegat HaSkala. It seems that Rebiel also, besides the actual content of what he spoke about, the, the definitions and explanations, he, he, 
he trained Bachrim Talmidim how to how to approach Chassidus, how to think Bechlal, how to how to understand ideas, abstract ideas thoroughly, clearly. So yeah, yeah besides the, being a, a, a medic about Masbir, and he was also a medic in I mean to say he anticipated where you're gonna go wrong, and he and he and he fixed he fixed the issues. We, he presented it in a way that you shouldn't you shouldn't have these machshalis, you shouldn't have these stumbling blocks. Right. So he was he was a master mechanic in terms of forcing you to to think more abstract. It's very hard to talk about it in an abstract way. You have to give mishalim of of of, of uh, in anonymous sure. list. But uh, sure. right, you know, he would you, bring you up the same person master. after you learned by him than before you learned by him. Right. In other words, he used to always speak about. There's two types of 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 a rav and talmud. There's a rav and talmud that the rav can has everything the talmud the talmud has everything the rav said. That but then there's a, a talmud which nasi chushi a talmud chushi a rav that he would be able to tell you what the rav said uh, in in this issue. So you have also a nigla. I mean, there's a story with Rav Chaim Briska that um, the the, the bacharim to, told him kashas and he told each bacher which sefer the kasha was from. So this is the kasha of the Yeshua, This is the kasha of the Masha. He was able to tell from the kasha what's the style and and, and who said it. So that the, the each mafayish has a style, even in nigla. But in chassidus, he, he he made you have his style. He didn't just give mm-hmm. you information; he gave you a style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, his impact is not only on the on the Talmud who learned directly by him, but uh, through his recordings and his, his svarim. He's the mashpi of all the mashpiim. So anyone who today yeah. teaches chassidus is teaching more or less what. He, the method that they got from him, or the mahalach, the, the the way of thinking, or right. So that was that was he, his, he, uh, that was, was... lit up. He lit it's oh. Once you hear him, so anytime you hear someone else gribbling, and and gribbling means struggling with ruchni sticker inyan and trying to understand it, then you just see that it's the room is light. You you, you understand the inyan the way it is. So why why are you looking and and, and finagling and, and fidgeting around the, the subject instead of just saying the subject the way it is? I once heard a, a shear from a certain mashpia on the topic, and the bashkacha pratis. I, I heard a, a, a same a shear on the same topic. There just there were two tapes in the car, and that's that was what they, they switched on. And it happened to be it was on the same topic, and you just saw one was yisunayim techacheshach. One was was grappling with the issue and around and trying to give one husband and shlugging it up and giving another husband. I be able to just explain the issue, and then it was just the room was light, and you just saw the, the Indian the way it is. So once you tasted it, 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 it you couldn't learn any, you couldn't learn any other way. Mm-hmm. Right. So it was moving to his, his Fabringens. This was his uh Shiordam's Kasidis by his Fabringens. What was the what would you say the theme of his, his Fabringens were? What, what what did he speak about by his Fabringens? So a lot of his Fabringens were were Hashkoff, I mean to say the way you're supposed to look at things. And then a lot some of them were 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 heroes in, 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 in directives, how to live your life or how to how to so you can forbring about thinking chassidus or 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 uh, dedication to chassidus, but the main the main focus for me, and it was the main thing we took away. He was a person that was a, 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 a very very great person in his own right, put it that way, and he, he was so bottled to the rebbe, so and, and his only Indian was to give us a, a, a teima and a taste of, of of what he had and, and to pass on the legacy of the rebbe that he. He was lucky, and, and the generation was lucky. So he he felt an achrayas towards us that we should be mukusharim like him. So he he tried to pass on the 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 discussions that he had onto us. That that's and if if he did it, in, you saw it was with an agenda. In other words, he he felt for us, and he did it as a taiva to try and be mechanachas in 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 and give us the the hadrach that he had from the rebbe and the feelings he had towards the rebbe, etc. So I'm talking about I came to him after Gimel Thomas, right? A number of years after Gimel Thomas. So it's a whole. It's, it was a new facet to be able to take a door, and and that, I think that was pushed him to go Fabreng with Bachrim. When I was working in the yeshiva in Staten Island, he came to Fabreng for the for the young Bachrim, and his whole Fabreng was about about the iskashros and 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 the Rebbe's caring about each individual Bachrim just like he cared before Gimel Thomas. That was a teichen, and you saw that he came with agenda. People have complaints that he very often. He re- repeated himself by Fabrengans. It's very posh that he repeated himself by Fabrengans because he hadn't, he didn't come, with, he's not, wasn't an entertainer, he wasn't trying to entertain you. He came with an agenda 
And a bacher came from the beginning of Kutzen and to the end of Kutzen. That year, he wanted the bacher to get certain anachas, not just information. He wanted to change the way of looking at things. And that he, he came into to every Fabrenga with an agenda. He's trying to get through these points. So he, sometimes he required to hazard himself. It's incredible. Riel himself, Riel himself, his, his own his own dedication to to the Rebbe and to teaching the Rebbe's Torah. He was an odd Irish Narmakayim for sure. It was, you saw that he was an odd Irish, and he really was willing to give everything he had for Nkayach, and 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 it was important for him that that, that another Yitzchak uh, of or Chassidus or or, or the Bachar should it, and 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 it, it was he. he it was Mayor Emmes when he said something? He really meant it. He saw it really bothered him, or he really cared about what he was saying. And if he got upset about something, it's because he really got upset about something. He really, it was it, Yiddishkeit and Chassidishkeit and and, and Rebbe and anyone who put put a, a, a block. You know, it was if he was talking about something that was going wrong, it was something that really really bothered him. It was really in the gale, like and and, and, my, and the whole command of my superacious, and it, it was a real real everything was a real real issue. Right. I want to say from my serious. personal experience, um, what I what I saw when I came from Etzisro, and before that I was in I was in Manchester in, in not Alabama, I said, I don't think she was not in Alabama, and 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 so in the Goethe world the same thing. The Havdel, there's a, there's a tenure of of postmodernism. In other words, don't be fanatical about anything. Don't be partisan. Try and see things objective, and don't don't be fundamentalist. But about any issue, try to see things as like a what a used to call him as a journalist. Stand outside and look inside and, and, and judge the situation as an outsider. So about Torah mitzvahs, so, so we knew that. But anything and above Torah mitzvahs, let's say, is or in, 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 because it was a chassidic lali shivutan I learned in. So they tried to give us this chinuch that that any uh, partisan politics or. or Party lines to be to fight to be a bells or the fight which is better satmar or bells whatever it is is all tarif is all is 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 not true it's not part of Yiddish kite and, and and all these things are just cherry on the cake you know whether you're a bells or a satmar is just a very very minor differences and that's the, that's the kind of they pushed it was with an agenda driven that that try and they said a story with Chofetz Chaim Moshe Chofetz Chaim that there was a a shver that had two adams and one adam like fleishiks one adam like milchiks. So the 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 shver had was it was a gvir, so he gave the, every night two suppers, one milchiks and one, one fleishik. So the two adams sat on different tables, and then the shver was yard min chasov, and he didn't have money for fleishik and milchiks. So he gave them just bread and, and whatever it was, and he still sat two separate tables. He says mele, when you when you were eating fleishik and you were eating milchiks, you sat two separate tables mele. But now you're eating the same thing, so why are you sitting on two separate tables? He said amal chsidim chsidim misnagdim misnagdim. So they had what to fight about. They sat two separate tables. But today chsidim chsidim misnagdim. This was the chinuch that, that they, they tried to. Give us, and then like, I, I, and and right, I came to Etzisro, and even within within the, what the, the 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 impression I got that the serious people, the, the people that were that would have anything and would only see this, they were the the ants, the, the Balei Aveda, and then there was the people that, that just made noise and and, and going with time and, and and screaming around with time, even themselves not going with time, just a lot of hoo ha, and they screamed about their shri and and the people that that worked on themselves and. and were were um, not such not making so much noise. In other words, not such partisan. Uh, wasn't so much fluff. That that was the the, the impression that, that they looked like the mashpiim in, in in yeshiva. The serious ones were more were more uh, heavy, in in terms of avoda and and they, they spoke less about their experiences by fabring and less experience about the, the, the less, less less about iskashros. And I came I came to Rabiel and the, the, the whole thing was the sapach al, al yitzrovim. The, the whole thing was upside down. That he we spoke about being partisan, being or being biased towards towards the Rebbe, towards the Babbage, to, as as the most that, that as a, as a form of dedication. It just changed the whole. And and uh, I'm talking about biased in 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 a, in a positive connotation. And the same thing with Unapo with, unapologetic. unapologetic, unapologetic. Yeah, but not just unapologetic, Very dedicated and and and. and, yeah. and Completely uh, submerged and and and. It's not I, I sorry, call it's not Yoni, yeah. to be to be single-minded and 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 uh, focused on on. 
and dedicated to the Rebbe. And Rebbe but it's, not, it's not just that. It, 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 he, he was a person that this dedication to the Rebbe was mechayev him. He paid a price for it, and he demanded it should be what it means, learning more, downing more, or or uh, going with tzayim and, and understanding so whatever whatever he was demanding and not bringing. But it, it was eskashos was was a, a, a term that meant dedication and eschayvos and, and more work and, and, and working harder. It wasn't it wasn't uh, uh, hot air. Right, right. But Chlal, he 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 disdained. He didn't like that the, the, the hot air and the slogans and the the empty um, the false like scashes. imitation minhagim and things like that. It was he looked at it as a shortcuts shortcuts to, to scashes. I mean, a person doesn't want to work. I never heard that from the, the line from him, but I'm just saying that was the impression that you got. That he, if, if it doesn't cost you, then it's, it doesn't doesn't uh, it's not it doesn't have value. Yeah. It's very subjective what I went through as a bacha. This was this metamorphosis that I had when I came to him. And I, and, and I started respecting more. Um, uh, you go through, you go through, you have to, every, every chassid has to somehow develop, be scar of the Chabad, just like a, a person who's not the Bible has to be scar. So every chassid himself has to be scar. So part of the scar is this, is this, that chassid, is, it has, you have to pay a price for it. That's very much what he, what he represented in my, my eyes. upon. Right. Going back to the, he mentioned the mashal of the time, he said, and so other, other people as well. But the, um, you could say that Rebiel, he brought back, he highlighted the, um, the, the, the fleshics, the, 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 it wasn't just that he was preaching to be partisan, to, 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 it was, he actually had a product to offer. He showed you how this is something that is worth, uh, there's something to live for, something, something to understand. There's an actual data here, and there's a way of thinking and a whole. Sure, he didn't just talk uh, demanding. He he gave you mashalim, and he, he he was giving you the product. He was he wasn't selling it. He was giving you the product, and you you bought it because you liked the product. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And and yeah, he and, and this is something that he. He, he taught to to, to Bahrim and he, he he really dedicated himself to this. You see how he, he brained and uh, gave shiurim even in, in advanced in, in age. He continued to to give the shiurim and brain with him Bahrim and to talk about these things. This was his chayas. This was his real real chayas. I mean, I, I remember he used to come even as a young man. He used to give a shiur this in the morning. It was it was, it was very older and it was in early in the morning. And he he started as a shiur. He thought he was gonna. His mom was going to faint in any second. It was like very, very hard for him just to say the words, to get the words out. And he was pushing himself. And then as he got more into it, and the Indian got more depth, and he, he saw him become alive from the Indian. The, the Siddhas gave him chayas, the Gashmi especially. He just saw it with the own eyes. Right. Right. Yeah. And Ria was also um, about Shmua and he, 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 the way he was madrich. Uh, and he didn't this. like when people you saw him in that light. In other words, when he, when he, what he, he, in my time, he discovered that he had sp spoken about a chassid, and the only context this bachar that was listening, or the bachar that was listening on Friday night about this chassid, was his what he had said, and he was very nervous because he, he like thought he's speaking stage two. He's speaking to people that understand the culture of chassidim, understand already a bit. They have a context of history of, of who the who the nafsh is a palace, who the people were talking about. And the same thing with Chassidus, by the way. I remember him, he, he, he said once to, to one of the Bachar that he was close to in my times, and I heard this on this Bachar, that certain yeshivas, Bachar come, that they know the background of Chassidus is better, and certain yeshivas, is, 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 they come, they, they talk to them about an Indian, they've never heard this Indian before. He was trying to do, speak stage two, and the Bachar needs stage one. He needs, he needs, he's never heard of the, 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 con, the, the, the concepts. So he was very sign, a stall in sign in Dark Chassidus. Right. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned about how his 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 and his and 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 um, he, he brought out a lot of the 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 chiddush of the rebbe, the chiddushim of the rebbe, and chiddush of the um, But at the same time, he he didn't like when people try to look for chiddushim or try to come up with a new a new. Uh, Look for something new and different, and to make is, is is different, and everything else is being rejected. He he felt that he took for granted that Shvi Shvi In other words, he was yeah. coming from a 
culture of, of he was a, his father was a chassid and he grew up around Chassidim and and he, he had a certain seal before he came. And and as much as 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 Shraga Batira Maya Hani, you'd say, what well, what is a candle in the middle of a so so what is the all this chinuch that he had in front of the in front of the, the shining sun that he the, the chinuch that he got from the river, but he he had he was a kli because he 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 had a chinuch and he, he he had a context to to understand the Rebbe. He didn't come as as a, as a someone that was just a misguy in the midbar. You know, he he, he he was he had a context, and right. expected you to when he talked to you, expected you to have a context as well. Right, right. It seems like in the later years he started to share that a lot more. Um, he he started he started to as he got older, he he actually was geared, brought himself down more to discuss. Um, Basic chinuch. Maybe he maybe he felt that people didn't have it. I don't know. Maybe right. He, felt that right. he was talking to people and didn't they didn't. Uh... Yeah. I don't know him from before, so <laughs> I I do know that he he started he had a we used to call it he had tapes. What does it mean? Like he had a a, a thing that you speak about in Fabringen. So this was tape about this issue, this tape, this issue. So he had a certain tract track about about uh, he felt that there was a lack of Kabbalah sale or, or about simple things about about Machshav de Bramaisa. That was the later years he started talking more on Sveda Perik Bays or whatever it was. Yeah, I mean, he once spoke about Tefillah Right. He, he right. said but that. You yeah. no, know, he, he saw certain schwachkeit and then he 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 didn't account for. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember speaking about the uh, in the midst of this and uh, you know, the, not not the, yeah. not that yeah, not that hurting someone or someone else. Uh, these things he did he, he were pasha to him. They were pasha to him and he, he felt it was even somewhat silly to speak about them. Like uh, you know, with such it's, it's obvious that this is uh, but he realized that it's not so obvious and he started to speak about it more. Yeah. Say so, one could was that when you, when you when you when you were around him, he he was such a a, a large figure, larger than life figure. He loomed so large. He, he, in a certain way, he fakishifed you, and, and and I mean it in a good way, in a good way that he he you were you were enthralled by him, and you could, you didn't see chesrenes. Maybe that's a chesaron, but you you just, his word carried a lot of weight because of that. Right. And he I don't know how much he was aware. But he definitely didn't care to use his clout in, in with people because of his position. And if he felt for an Indian, so he he would use it even even it wasn't let's say, or or he he didn't understand the words of So if he if he could prepare an Indian through using clout, then he he would he would do it. I can think of two Mushalim in my times. Um, he he called up Gvirim for the Shabbos. To give money to to to, the, to publishing the Rebbe's Torah in, in in a way which is aruch for for for, for chedesh yidin. So he didn't get any gain from it. He just did it the manner Indian and and he used his his position and his pull with these people to, to to raise money for this project. That was one thing. And then another someone a young man told me that there's a he used to give a shear in Bar Park Thursday night. And one of the people that attended the shear had an organization where he, he bought himself a van and he used to go around to the chasna halls. And pick up the extra food and distribute it to families that, whatever the, the mother's in hospital or, or just had a baby or whatever it was that needed supper. So there's there's extra food in, from the chasnas and he distributed. He called the organization Sha'iris Plates. So one time there was a family in Crown Heights that didn't want to use his service because he didn't like the heksha of the of the hall, the, the food that he was giving. I don't know, it was maybe satmar heksha, whatever it was. So the family really need apparently the family, this family really needed the, the the help, but they were not using it. Madame Frumkeit. So this this young man went over to Rabiel after the shear. He used to take a taxi home. He said, "Can I take you home? I will stop by this family, and you'll convince them that in your situation, this, this, you're being from a So Rabiel said, "For sure." And they they, st- they he drove him home. And he stopped outside this guy's house. Knocked and says, "Rabiel, I want to speak to you in the car." And Rabiel told him that that for the mishpacha, you could you could give him this this good hechsher. Don't worry about it. And in other words, Rabiel used his clout. And by this person to to use to do chesed, and, and then he told this person, "If you ever need me services again, don't don't hesitate." 
So he talking about he was by a sheer bar for giving the talking about Achtz Hashem the highest in Yonim. Chavez Atzilus Arich Atik whatever, and then he came down to do a, a teva to Yid, and, and he didn't hesitate, and it was a teva that was required his clout. It was because of his position, and he didn't think twice. Yeah. yeah he, didn't, he didn't. He mamish didn't hold of himself, uh, and it wasn't in a way of you know. Real speaks about the, the bittel is not that the. the He's a he, 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 you know. He was like There was no, there was no, the Indian, I mean, that's it. And it's no, it's like the head Indian that, that is there's me, there's you. I mean, it's, it's all the, uh, it was the bitl of a mask. But uh, you have to explain what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, to say is that, that it wasn't like a ton of bitl to, 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 to work on himself, to break. It was the, the truth of Elokus and the truth of what, what the, the Ratzon Hashem was so clear, so real that his own personal, um, his own his own his own Matthias was so irrelevant, and so insignificant. The the, 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 the MS shined. It's a even you don't even you didn't feel so much the bittel. It was so it was like the well, It was you know, this is the MS. This is what this is what is. Yeah, and this was his fabrikum thing. Every fabrikum was a new race, Shamshis Kaini, and and putting the the Kavan El Yen, and that was that was the the whole sprach that he. I mean, it's really the Rebbe sprach. I'm saying he, he was a loyal chassid. What I say? Yeah, yeah. He 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 uh, made the Rebbe's Torah, the Rebbe's the whole Habera Shvi. He made that accessible. He made that. A, and so the Rebbe, but he brought it down in a way and he clarified it, he elucidated it through his, his, uh, his speaking, his writing, and all his fabringans, just to clarify, to make it a Torah Shlema, to make him a Suddhadik Ashkot, as we would call it in the Veld. Right. Yeah. And he... Uh, The thing that, was, like, that drew us to him was also that you saw anyone that was a who's who was was so battle to him. In other words, so macabre from him. Any 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 one of all mashpiv and magdishim yeshiva, or or any chassid they ever spoke to the was a different league, a different caliber. So in the Mela, you 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 felt it was a chus to, to to be around to his for bringing. Yeah, that's true. The the great the greatest mashpiv. Yeah. Melech himself, Friedman, is going to ask, ask him what the, what the. I mean, show yourself. You can read a mimer and you understood how you understood it. Then, then, then he read you the words and, and something completely different contained within those words. So he read the same text as you, and he, he understood it like a. I don't know the word say noodle. It's like too too radical, but it was a completely different type of way of understanding of it. Okay. Saying this, his his tale is there. You could do, if you like reading, you could read it, and you can listen to the tapes. Oh, it's all there. Saying that all is shurim and right, 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 right. Are we making an, an effort to try to make his tale more available in English? And we we we, we did the I did the shurim with him. We had for over over two years recorded recorded videos of him. He, he dedicated himself to it without any. Uh, any gain or interest, he, he simply felt that there was a need to make the Rebbe's Torah, in a, which is relevant to Chassidus Hadracha for, for, for living life. He felt that there were people who were, people didn't feel that Chassidus had what to offer as far as everyday life, as, as living their life. They felt they had to turn to other places. That was after the Parsha and the whole Asif and Granites. And he, he, he offered to, to, to record a weekly shear. Specifically, choosing sikhs and ideas chassidus which are relevant to to everyday life, and we we wrote them up and we published them in the videos with uh, captions. And the Mitzvah we hope to publish it in a uh, safer way soon. Right, that doesn't replace the the, the real sh deep shiurim which you gave. Which I don't know. There's there's different levels of of, of uh, 
how accessible his Torah is. It's right. not his Torah. I'm saying how accessible you could you could learn from him. But the, the beauty is that everyone can become his Talmud. He's not limited to to yeah. You could go clearish. You could become his Talmud man. Right. Yeah. When I first started listening to tapes, I didn't understand that. When I started, first started listening to him, this Chit Chadibur is not clear, and 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 uh, it took me a while to understand it. But once you understand it, you understand it. And, and so when people are, are have this reluctance or they're afraid to listen to the tape. You take a tape and you get used to it. You'll listen to two, three tapes, you'll get used to it. Yeah. Just a, one last Likuda, if you think about what the Ramam writes about Mashiach, that what's going to happen when Mashiach comes? The only interest is going to be Adas Hashem. If, if you can imagine someone like that, the, the, the Rebiel was only to Adas Hashem Bavad, to learn Chesidus, to teach Chesidus, to explain Chesidus, people should know Chesidus. That was the Asik Kolayim Kuli, that this is mine, was focused on, that's the only interest in the world. It's like a main at the of, of, of a person from Mashiach, Mashiach, Mashiach the Kid. It's a real Mashiach the Kid. Yeah.